Here we are with some breaking news. This news is about the latest updates about Wendy Williams and Kevin's divorce. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, yes. It has been leaked that Wendy Williams' marriage may rest on a DNA test. Okay, we all know that Kevin allegedly fathered a child with Sharina and Wendy is divorcing Kevin because of it, among other things. She also is claiming that a fake relapse is because of the stress of this case as well. But there's more information. Kevin is demanding a $10 million payoff to walk away from the 21-year marriage quietly because Kevin is threatening to out all of Wendy's deepest, darkest, and dirtiest secrets. Oh yes. He's even stated to some friends that if Wendy starts to make this nasty, he would not hesitate to drag her through the mud. I mean, think about it. Kevin has a lot on her. He said there will be no Wendy Williams show by the time he's finished. Oh, and I'm not done yet. He said a few million for him to sign a NDA and a, you know, fresh start is a bargain. It's either that or he will certainly ruin her. And you know he will. Even though Wendy has already taken a battering for months. And all of her skeletons start coming out. And I believe she panicked and tried desperately to cover it up. First with the fainting. Then her menopause because of the fainting. Then a Graves disease. And then her claiming to have relapsed. Which I believe is all bullshit and all PR. And I'm going to tell you why. All remember last month when Wendy was seen riding a mobility scooter in Walmart at 4 a.m. Looking bizarre while wearing sweatpants and hair all over the place. But that was after going into their bathroom for 20 minutes and then she grabbed a wheelchair cart. You see, that whole scene was to convince the public that she was still struggling with drugs. That was a PR move to get people to feel pity, you see. Her going into the bathroom was her to prepare herself for the fakery. Now, let's get back to Kevin. Oh, I do believe that he will get close to what he's asking for. And I also believe the baby is his. I mean, Sharina may be a homewrecker and a floozy, but I don't think she's stupid enough to get knocked up by someone else. If she does, oh well, I pray for that baby. Tell me your thoughts below.